everybody it is tanya thrifty treasures welcome to episode 18 of jewelry detectives and today our special guest is going to be miss kathleen riggs and we also have my co-host here angie hi everybody it is angie uh, i have a youtube channel treasured vintage and uh i have an etsy shop dazzled by vintage and we all love to talk jewelry and that's what we're going to get into we're so glad to have kathleen with us today yes we kathleen, are tell us, tell us something about yourself hello i'm kathleen riggs i'm um what i like to call an avid youtube watcher um i have been a collector and a reseller of sorts for many years and today i'm hoping to share with you some of my vintage stash um i came about it from a friend of mine her boyfriend inherited a house he had been helping an older lady with some things around her house and it was kind of sad she didn't have anybody and when she died she left the house to him so they've been constantly bringing stuff out and cleaning it up and he just kept bringing hordes and hordes of jewelry and of course they asked me would i be interested in it and i said oh yes absolutely so, <laughs> right that's so exciting <laughs> so that's how i came about it and the funny thing is my friend could care less about vintage jewelry so she was really being kind to help me out with all this and and pick it up so we've got a little deal going on whatever i sell she's going to get a percentage so um, I'm kind of excited and I'm excited to share with people that care about vintage. <laughs> so. Yes, definitely. And Kathleen had posted some pictures in our jury group too. So if you guys want to join our jury group on Facebook, it's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. We'd love to see you over there. But I especially loved uh, the vintage jewelry boxes too that all of your, uh, all of your jewelry was in. So you want to you wanna go ahead and get started and show us some things that you have? Okay, um, I was a little overwhelmed, so I thought, well, maybe what I do is just kind of sort it by colors to kind of get a, a plan or a pattern. So I have a set here that uh, is a purple set, and I can show you the earrings first. I hope you can, can you see? I love your polish color. Your nails look pretty. Oh, thank you. I hope you can see those. I'm beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Is that a deep purple color? Yes, it is. And it's one of those that they call the um, climbers. It kind of oh, climbs yeah. around your ear. I don't know if yeah. you can see that. But um, I have, and all the stones are here mm -hmm. on these. Um, Very pretty. That's the earrings. And then the necklace, I'm positive, matches. It's the same stones and. Oh, I love the gold setting too. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Looks very well made. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I think it is. And, I, and you can see, you know, with the latch here at the end. Mm -hmm. No you know, markings? Vintage latch, no markings, unmarked. Mm -hmm. This whole set is unmarked. Mm -hmm. but I've never seen anything quite like that out in my travels. Mm -hmm. And then the bracelet, I don't think it's an, a match. It's not like a Peru, but it's the same color. Hmm. Look I at that paper that, glass. It, it's coming through okay. It's uh -huh. kind, of hard, mm -hmm. kind of hard to tell. And then it's got the little chain, which I love. And sure looks purple. like it matches. The stones are exactly yeah. the same color. I yeah, they're, they're exactly the same color if you look at the stones, but then on the earrings, they're more of a um, oh, teardrop kind of, you know, mm -hmm. I don't see the uh, square ones like this has. Mm -hmm. But that's so, still, um, still but I think the same. Yeah, I um, think the back looks finished off the same. Yeah, doesn't it? I think I think it could very well be a set, even though the stones aren't the same shape. You think I could sell it together? Oh yes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all of you know, because all the stones are in this one here, mm -hmm. so that's really nice. 
Um, the bracelet's let, not marked either? Nope, none of them. None of these are marked. What about sticking to a magnet? Does it stick to a magnet? Let me grab my magnet. Here. Mitchell says it looks like Juliana. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sticking to the magnet. Not real familiar with Juliana, but um, I know Debbie knows a lot about vintage jewelry. So that oh. might be something you want to check out further, Kathleen. Juliana. Yeah, right. you've heard of that, right? No, I have not heard of that one. That They're uh, a 50s uh, costume jewelry maker, or maybe even earlier. Um, I've heard of it, but I've never come across any of it. I want to yeah, it's a very it. good uh, maker. So Thanks, Debbie. Okay. If you would well, check that out, that might uh, do there. do well for you. <laughs> I have to I have to take write it down. I know if I don't write it down, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> I'm a big Thanks, Debbie. I'm write it down. I'm Thank you, person I write everything down. <laughs> I will I know nothing about all this stuff. So a little but not a whole lot. Um so didn't have any markings, huh? I saw that safety uh no nope. safety catch on. I was yeah. thinking maybe it might have. No, 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 no okay. working. So, um, let me see here what we got next. Debbie says if it if it does happen to be Juliana, it is valuable. So Debbie, I'm curious to know um, in the chat, were her pieces? Did she make a lot of pieces that were unmarked? Let's see if Debbie answers us. Yeah, that's one designer that I, I'm not really familiar with. I've never found a piece of hers. I just know that it exists, but I've never run across any either. Not all Juliana is marked. Hmm. Interesting. You've given us something to research. Yeah, definitely. I would be excited because I had no idea, and that's why I've been holding on to some of it because I really didn't know what value it was. And so. if it's not marked, I wonder how we – how we determine that it is in fact Juliana. That's the trick. Yes. I would that's think. where the detectives come in. But yes. I don't think I've got the <laughs> I haven't got the stuff for that. <laughs> right. That's I wanna why, that's why it's called jewelry detectives. <laughs> we can try. Right. And I do have some sign pieces though, luckily. This one is a um weiss or wife. I'm not good on the pronunciations. But that's, that's, that's another beautiful ear climber, and then I hope I can you can see the look how those crystals dangle. I mean, they're yeah, loose. They're they're, they're beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty. I don't know if I can get the. Can you see the? Is it light purple? Is it lavender? Yes, it's a. It's like a um, kind of a grayish purplish blue it's hard to kind of almost like an ice blue with a little tinge of uh, purple to it mm, very very pretty and i don't know if you can see the weiss on there or not weiss i'm not sure how you pronounce that i really like how you've uh, set up everything by color i think that's a really good idea and also you've taught me a new word i didn't realize those were called climbers yeah so that's really, that's interesting. I mean, it makes sense. That's a good word for it. I did research yeah. that, and there was um, ads from the 50s that had the pictures of them, you know, climbing up the ear. And it oh, actually I love the vintage that. jewelry ads. Isn't that gorgeous, though? That is. I Aww. just love them. So I'm, I'm thinking, I checked these, and I've got these listed, I want to say at 125. Mm. I had another pair from. 165 so I put mine a little below that and I've had views um, mm -hmm. you know no watchers yet but views on them were there any and sales I, yes yes they were. worth point um, so what what platforms do you have them listed for sale on um, right now on that on those earrings I have them on eBay um, Etsy and I don't think I put it on Poshmark yet and then Bonanza, but you know, Bonanza's hit or miss. <laughs> right. That's so. awesome. 
and April, April's still talking about the Juliana here. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. She says the puddling of the metal on the back has something to do with it. I guess telling if they're Juliana or not. Um, she's come across it when she's researching, and also they would be all prong set. Well, they're prong set. Yeah, everything is prong set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's definitely we, no doubt. We learn so much from people in the chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, you know, this is not only me and Tanya's gig, but it's everybody's. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. and I'm, it's I'm all sorry. of us. I'm missing kind of everybody in the chat. You'll have to bear with me since I'm so new to this. But. <laughs> okay. Let me show you another one. This that same climber. It's a yellow, and this has no mark on it, though. There is nothing on those, but they're similar to the other, but they don't dangle. They would go like that on your ear. Are they, are they clip earrings or pierced? They're clip. Okay. Yeah, clip. So just about everything that I got from her was clip, and then this, I thought, kind of matched it but there's some stones missing on it there's a yellow this one here but you can see there's a stone there missing and this is how she lengthened the necklace with some ribbon with with a it's like an embroidery thread oh okay we hmm. found all kinds of stuff fixed and you know, done like this hmm. to accommodate yeah. her. It was just crazy what she did. Interesting. <laughs> it, it let me know how much she loved her jewelry because she kept fixing it. Yeah. Right? You no. Know? Yeah. Now and that one looks like it has a stone missing. Yes. Yeah. It's got one there in the front and then unfortunately one mm -hmm. right here towards the back. And oh. then she put her extension on there so she could. Excuse me, sellers. I'm saying bye to my mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> bye. So I wanted you to show him this one. Okay. So All right, I will. He's cute. <laughs> so I'm, I am curious to know in the chat who would go ahead and list a piece of jewelry like that if it was missing a stone or two. Let us know in the chat because um, I know that Kathleen has some, but I also have some too, and. I haven't listed it because it is missing a stone. So would you go ahead and list it like that? And I'm not the type of person who's going to probably take the time to find a stone and no. uh, repair it. So, And I've sold a couple that were missing stones. So I think, you know, there's got to be collectors or somebody like Carla that's very adept at, you know, fixing things that would be interested. In fact, I have one that's worth quite a bit, an Eisen. Um, Oh, what is this called? Eisenberg. Eisenberg, yes. I'll make sure I'm telling you right here. Yep, ice, they call it. Mm -hmm. And it is gorgeous. Oh, wow. But yeah. it's missing stones, too, mm -hmm. right here. And I've listed it, and I've had a lot of views on it, so hmm. I will see because the ice goes for pretty good price too. Yes, it does. I so, do you put best offer on your listings too? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would too, especially on the ones that need repair. Yeah, always. And and I try to kind of lowball it a little bit to begin with, you know. So, but this one I just thought was beautiful, and the back mm -hmm. is in really good condition, and so I listed it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, What's our yeah. consensus there in the chat, Tanya? Um, a lot of people are saying they would fix it. Sandy said that she would fix it. Uh, I think April said she would fix it. Oh, well, cool. That would be great. Debbie would once she identified it. April would. But then would you have to say that it, it had been repaired? Sandy, because yes, I would. It might not necessarily match exactly perfect. Yeah, right? I, would, I would think that the thing to do would say that it was repaired, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I've repaired a couple, and I do divulge that, even if I just add a jump ring or something, you know, mm -hmm. I put that on there. So, 
and my daughter wants you to wants me to show you which is pretty cool too is um art this is an art peru oh wow this so it's fine art i love art yes yeah. arthur this pepper yeah. Money. yeah this one i have listed now this is missing stones too but i'm not sure where to be honest with you because i had to look so close it's got so much detail on it that oh i hope is everybody seeing that good oh my so pretty yeah isn't that beautiful and that's the necklace and then i have the bracelet that matches too oh my goodness so you have the necklace and the bracelet and the bracelet oh and the earrings Oh my gosh. Okay, let me look this up on worth point. Clip, clip on earrings. Now, did you say the stain the stains are all intact in that one or missing no, some? There it is missing some. And to mm -hmm. be honest, I'd have to probably sit here again. I divulged them. Oh, here's one I can see now when I look at it. I thought right. I saw one of the uh yeah. teardrop yeah. ones missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've divulged it in my mm -hmm. um ad. And I had listed the Peru for 125. Are those purple stones? Mm-hmm. Yep. They're like an Aurora Borealis stone. Oh so yeah. Here you can it's kind of hard to it was really hard to photograph. So I think that lady liked her purple, didn't she? Yes. Lots of purple. Yeah, I think you could get at least a hundred or more for that set. That's what I'm hoping. And yeah. Got the Even with the stones missing, Tanya. Oh, that one does have stone missing? Yeah. yeah it does. They are. They're missing, oh. but I'm going to try it anyways. Like I said, I'm just not one to really. But still, given, for collectors, a piece that has the bracelet, the necklace, and the earrings all together like that, I would still that's, try. That's what I'm thinking, you know, and I'm just not one to fix stuff. And given the fact that I've sold a few, that are missing stones, then, you know, it lets me know there's people out there that'll, that will buy it and then fix it themselves. So, but I don't mm -hmm. have now see these earrings, I believe, I think they have all of them. I'm pretty sure. And if that was me, I don't know, that'd be a tough call because I might be tempted to sell the earrings on their own just because they have all the stones or well, else. You know, else out of, whichever piece is more valuable, take the stones out of the other piece and put them in the other piece that they fit and sell it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea because we did, in fact, I've got a bracelet in another part here. And that's what we did. We found um, an earring and there was a stone missing on the bracelet so I can take it out of the earring and put it in the bracelet. So yeah. I, that's a good idea, Angie. I, I think I'll look for that. Um, Cause at least something salvageable out of it. If you don't want to fool around with, you know, selling the that. whole set with all, all the missing stones. Yeah. You know, that's that one a good piece idea. That, that has all the stones. I'm so glad I'm getting advice from y'all because I, I was just so overwhelmed and nobody to really talk to about it. So uh, Princess Casserole says sometimes the rhinestones don't come out with the foil, though. That's a good point. Yeah. Sometimes when you're trying to take them out, the, the backing doesn't come out, you know, all intact on the back and then it doesn't look right when you and, go to put it in another piece. And I want to do a different uh Kathleen than Angie but I'm just a little bit lazier I would just sell them together and let the person who, who's the collector figure out how they're going to replace the stones yeah I probably I would too when it comes right down to because I'm lazy too <laughs> yeah, I kind of lean towards you Tanya I'm just like no just let me get this up here and see if somebody right, if you're a collector if you're a collector I would be so sad to know somebody was tearing you know tearing apart a perfectly fine bracelet if I only had to replace a stone or two, and it was a piece I had been looking for, right? Yeah, but right. everybody's different though. Either way, they would have the piece fixed, uh, Angie's way or my way, so. Yeah. I was well, just putting it, all different options out there. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's definitely a great option to, to yeah, take. You have to think of everything, you know. Comes right down to it. I, I probably, it would probably lay in a box here at the <laughs> house and 
and just <laughs> same here, same here. <laughs> that's the problem with fixing it. I'll have this great intention of fixing it, and then that's what happens. It just sits there, and I'm thinking, well, if I can make something off of it, you know, for little <laughs> effort. <laughs> My stuff sits around for so long that I literally have to put it in a baggie with um, a piece of paper saying saying what's going on with it because I'll come back to it and I will have forgotten. You mean you put on a sticky, what is happening here? Right, you know. Put it on the bag, huh? Yeah, the class needs to be repaired and then, you know, put it in the bag and set it aside. Too much, I'm telling you. Why is this in your collection for one year? <laughs> right? Because I was too lazy, that's why. Yeah. Oh, let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to. This is kind of unusual. I don't know if it's really worth anything, but it's plastic. But oh, it's so cute. Isn't that mm -hmm. unusual, though? It's a choker necklace with the kind of uh, what do you call hook. those? A hook. Yeah. I call them hook and eye. Yeah. But, oh, somebody will love that. Yeah, I mean, it's all, but, you know, you can see, look at the back of that, how it amazes me how they used to make stuff. Yeah, it's riveted. You know? Yeah. I mean, you just don't see stuff like that anymore. No, you don't. True. And yeah, I love the chain. Is it, is it, I uh, wonder if that's, I guess that's vintage plastic or yeah, celluloid or something on the yeah. chain. I don't know what. Some kind of plastic, even the, the well, I don't know. The little gold may be metal. It looks like it could be plastic and metal. But, um, and then the stones, there's a rhinestone in each um, rose, but they're all there. On that this. is adorable. Somebody would scarf that up right away. Mm -hmm. I'm I think kind of cool. thinking. I was wondering what y'all thought about that because I just and thought I, so cute. I wouldn't put it too cheap either. You think think put it a little higher, even though it's plastic? I would. Yeah, it's vintage though. What kind of price are you thinking, Angie? Um, <laughs> what do you want to win <laughs> You put me on the spot. I don't. I'd have to look and see if there was any. Well, pulse. yeah. Look I, I don't think I'd go under thirty-five. I was thinking twenty-nine ninety-nine. So I like that number. Yeah, kind of. I like that ninety nine. Tanya taught me that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I do mine the the even numbers. I don't know why I should do the ninety nine. It's a mind trick, I think. I I learned that like when I used to work in retail when I was younger. So mm -hmm. I think it is too. My daughter told me the same thing. So she, my daughter, the one that just left, a hairdresser. So um, what else? Do, oh, this is pretty too. This is um. A choker. It's not coming up real red, but it's another. It's, red. it's oh, rhinestone. It's what? It's red, but it it's not coming out very. It looks kind of darkish brown. I don't know. I can't get it to. Oh, I see the red. You see what? it? Yeah, it's glowing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. What does yeah. the clasp look like? And it is a um, look. I mean, this is what's cool is you can see the little on the class. It's actually got two little rhinestones I on the back. Oh, and then so that's cool. finished. And then you fasten that, you know, on your. Mm -hmm. And there's your. Now, what about that one? Is there any markings on it? No markings. There was just so much that had no markings. That's why I kind of wanted to show some of the ones that had no markings because they're the hardest to research to see if right. there was anything. Yes. And, and then I had, there's two of them. This one was red too with a little different um, pattern on it, mm -hmm. but it was the same with the little hook and eye that's got a little rhinestone on it. Yeah, I might even lot those together to sell them. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. two birds, one stone. Yeah, 
I, those are just, I thought they were, I love bling though. I'm just nutty. I know. That. Like when I looked at the jewelry boxes, most of everything in there was like all blingy. I'm just, there's so much I want to show you. I'm trying to pick out the, the really good pieces. Now this one's pretty cool too here. Let me pull it out and it's a choker with a kind of a gray, these are gray, kind of acrylic with gold in between them. Hmm. And it's a That's choker. Yeah, she definitely liked the chokers, huh? Oh yeah. She had, Maybe not newer. Huh? It just has a newer look to it, but it probably it, isn't newer. It does, it really does. That's what kind of, and I thought What's it- What's the back look like? So it's kind of a, you know. Hmm choker like mm -hmm. so i thought that was pretty kind of kind of a classy looking um and then this one is gorgeous and i've not seen anything missing from it it's another one that's that's really pretty that looks like it could be like trafari or yeah no marking on this either and it's the same with the little it's got little uh pearls faux pearls and you know the hook and hooks on there tiny though some of these were i know why she extended them i wish i had my jewelry tiny. book with me i wonder when that hook was popular that type of uh hook angie what but, would you say angie 60s maybe um yeah i i have a a page that i look at from i think it's uh illusion jewels dot com that that specifically dates uh clasps and um so you could find out there i mean it's just all about dating the clasps mm -hmm. dating jewelry by the clasps so what's the name of the book? Andy? illusion illusion jewels illusion okay. jewels website mm -hmm. yeah um the only one I always remember for sure is the lobster one. So I know if it has a lobster class, chances are it's probably pretty modern. After the 92 or three or something like that. I just read that in, in somebody's group here recently. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, I wanna get some of those books. That's why I was asking. You need the books. It's They're like eye candy. It's so pretty. Yeah, just I really know. Really I was really scrolling cool. over Angie's Monet book. That right. just like, well, I could see me getting a cup of coffee and sitting down with that i hear okay. there's a good napier book too I, I think i'd like to get yes and i checked that out and it's a bit pricey let me tell you I oh, is it? it starts at like 75 i could be wrong though oh gee um, even for used yeah i think so there wasn't that many available like maybe only three when i looked on amazon thanks mm -hmm. adam adam just sent us a super chat you guys he says thank oh, you for nice. nice adam thanks thanks adam <laughs> Here's another bling. Oh, can you see that yeah. one? That's gorgeous. It's really? And it's got a little, I love the little detail of an extra little hang on it. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the hook. Now and there's another uh, page. I think it, I think it might be in the same uh, website that has that identifies the designer by the dangle oh wow yeah so i'm gonna have to share those in the group again yeah, i think i, I shared that, them one other time but i thought um, that was kind of unusual yeah that it probably has that one and it tells what the designer is and there's no mark well i mean that was what was amazing to me because all of this i thought was really well-made jewelry yeah and i would definitely say that was the ab the aurora borealis uh because at first I thought it was purple, but then you kept sliding it and yeah, shining it. I was like, wait, that's yeah, like different colors. Yeah, yeah that's the crystals. The AB. It really shines. I gorgeous. Mean, I was trying to get the shine factor there, but yeah, it's uh And it's look a, at the little rings you're wearing. They're so pretty. Oh yeah, I'm a ring. This one belonged to my grandmother there. Aww. And this one beautiful. My belonged to my grandmother and my uncle made it. He was into making jewelry so it's turquoise and sterling silver that he made yeah. and then my moonstone was from an artist here in st pete so yeah i love my rings love my rings 
Oh, what else? And I have all these. Well, you know what? I have to give a shout out for Carla and Jim, too, because these were found in the lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, some Kit Kats? <laughs> yes, but I'm keeping it. And this, this <laughs> is the thing mark. there. Oh, that's whiskers. Yeah, it's okay. got the little whiskers out. I was wondering if that was an arrow through his head or what the deal. <laughs> It's like he's not really got any eyes, but he has a little <laughs> red collar and the whiskers, and then there's a little bead right on his tail. And Let's this see. is Mark too. I'm trying to think what was this one. This was a Warner. Anybody ever heard of Warner? How do you spell it? W is it W A R N E R? Yep. W. -A -R -N -E -R. Yeah, I think they. I think they made several kinds of those types of figurals like that. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, that name's familiar. Yeah, I thought, but this is beautiful and well-made too. And then there's the mark is there on back. I'm not good like Carol is so good at getting these marks with the magnifying glass. I have no idea how she does it. She is good at that. Very good at it. Where is Carol? Carol is missing in action this morning. Yeah, well, she'll have to. <laughs> Here on Carol? Yeah. Carol? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can get, get it on there real good. And then there's just this cat face. Oh, look at that Ooh, one. Love that. Yeah. That is cool. That yeah. looks older. It does, doesn't it? No mark on it either. But I thought it was just unusual. The face on there was unusual. And then I think this one, I've seen people have this one before with the little. Oh, is that a JJ? No, it's not marked either. Really? Well, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I'm seeing something at the top. Yes, it is. I see it. You're right, um, Tanya. <laughs> it's at the top. It's up here in the back. You can't. Oh, it's so cute. I haven't seen that one before. I was thinking I saw somebody unload one in an unboxing, but. I love it. I know. My friends went crazy because they knew I like cats. So they said, oh, we got to save these for Kathleen because she'll want them. I love cats too. I just don't have one of my own yet. <laughs> Can you check that? The edge of the round cat pin for a mark. Rhonda says it's usually there. Like on right around the edge of the back. Nope. Nothing. I, nope. Nothing on there. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I was hoping because yeah, it is really cool. It's really cool, but I I can't sell cat stuff because they're that's my thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I can't. I'll have it. to remember that. Yeah, me too. Definitely for the subscription boxes. <laughs> and this is pretty. Here's another plastic one that is just gorgeous. It's turquoise. And it's another. Chocolate? I mean, yep. She loved these things. I mean, just, I'm not a choker person. Like, I just can't handle having something on my neck like that, no, right? I okay. used to be, but I'm not anymore. I can't do it either. My daughter loves them, but. Yeah, I mean, maybe just for like an hour or two, maybe for a dinner party or something. But after yeah, that, I'd be like, oh. take it off. Right. Uh, for this show or something. <laughs> yeah. But somebody, I think, will lie. And there again, you look at the way that it's made in the back. I mean, it's just amazes me how much mm -hmm. effort and, and yeah. care. And love that they put into what they were making. Right. Uh, Kathleen Della is giving you a nice that. compliment. She says that she likes the necklace that you're wearing right now. Oh, that this one. Thank you. You Pretty. know, I get a lot of compliments on this one. And this came out of a jewelry bag. And it reminds me of Brighton, is why I like it. Oh, yeah. I, I can like that. Uh, definitely. Like the it's very nice. So do you it's get many jewelry bags down there? You probably do, don't you? Yeah, because I have, an, I have, you know, I'm probably going to make people jealous, but I have a lot of places to source at. Just, I mean, Pinellas County is huge. Mm -hmm. So they're just all over the place. And, well, you know, down there, Goodwills. 
Goodwills, um, Salvation Army, and then there's a lot of little um, like mom and pop church type church shop, St. Paul de Vincent, and Hospice Resale, and you know, That's Habitat for Humanity Resale. Yeah. I mean, hmm. just That's all kinds of stuff. You're right, I'm so, very jealous. We don't have any hospice thrifts. Like I know that Angie has one like that, right? Like a retirement home thrift. Yeah, but it's not been good lately. It's been so, I mean, I, I look at my videos and I see other people's videos that they show they're out shopping and it's like, it's like a jewelry store exploded in front of them. And, and, and my video has about six pieces in it in there. And I'm like, Ooh, six pieces. <laughs> It's not fair, you guys. <laughs> well, I, it, and it does dry up. My friend had turned me on to a hospice uh, resale, and I was so excited because they had bags for seven ninety nine, and they were considering um, um, junk bags. And then on Wednesdays, I get thirty percent off. So wow. I was like, for a while, it was like my honey hole, and these bags were great. I mean, they had wearable jewelry. I found silver. I found gold. So I was like, every Wednesday, I was back over there. Right. And <laughs> right before I went on, it, it dried up. It now was, my head hurts. Yeah, it <laughs> dried up. I know. I was just devastated. I said, "Oh my goodness, mm. it's expensive." There, most of the ones at Goodwill and Salvation Army run about thirty to get but if you can't get them it's they're hard to get because people will they'll scope them out and every time i go in they're gone so i just have to find other ways to work around it and tons of yard sales i mean you can go forever you know looking at yard sales so yeah oh let's see what else well we're happy for you <laughs> I'm not happy. so happy for myself, but happy for you. <laughs> oh, we'll show this for Tanya because it's not marked either. Oh. But it's just beautiful. Oh, I love that. It's that pretty. pretty. It's a choker too, but it's a it's a newer one. It's gorgeous. But I just thought the, the colors were just beautiful. Yes. That green and blue is so when people pretty. make pieces that are that pretty, I find it so hard that they don't mark them or sign them, you know? I know. It, and this is well made too. I mean, you can see on the back. So, I mean, I just fell in love with it. She just had good taste. I will have to say that. I mean, it's just what amazing. What does the, um, the clasp look like uh, towards the center of it? Like, could you add some of the jump rings to that? Yes. You mean here? Yeah, I might want to buy that from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of had you in mind. <laughs> That's well, why it was set. We Very should have nice. a jewelry buying show too. Like if you like any of the pieces. Yeah, you know? oh definitely. To yeah. anybody out there, make me an offer on anything. You know, I'm easy. So I always have been. <laughs> oh, let's see. I might have to trade you some of my uh cat brooches for that, Kathleen. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a great idea. That'll work. We can work okay. out the deal. We'll work something out. <laughs> I like to barter. <laughs> to me, that's half the fun. That's why I always put or offer because I love to go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is not marked, but mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. People love celestial jewelry. They love I, the stars and the moon and all that. Definitely. That's what I was wondering because I sure liked it. I thought, oh, I just love this piece. That's awesome. And yeah. It's a. Uh, it looks old. I mean, it's a, um, you know, a newer turn clasp. I don't know what you actually call those, but, you know, it's got the newer class. Mm -hmm. If I can get it to work. Yeah, I don't want to. It's a rollover clasp. Yeah, rollover. That's it. There it goes. It's not. I working. love your nails. I like that gray. Mm -hmm. That's different. Oh, really pretty. 
I steal my colors from other people when I see them. I know, right? Like I'm so excited about fall coming up and wearing fall colors. I'm like over all the summer pinks and everything. I'm ready I've to stole, wear different I've colors. For both of you all before when I got my <laughs> nails done, I've seen them on the videos and like, oh, I want to get my nails like that. So <laughs> every time I go, I get something different. I know um, most of the time. This is kind of cool. I mean, I'm showing you. I do have some um sign things but i'm just so amazed at the stuff i got that wasn't signed yeah and this was really interesting oh my that looks like a uh like a oh it's escaping tribal. me egyptian yeah tribal it? designer tribal. though yeah it's um or ethnic i don't know this one here it's really cool that one looks kind of Egyptian to me. So, and it's a it's a choker. With, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. I think you could get good money. Like just looking at that right off the bat, I'd say thirty nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh really? Wow. And it does have a little finish wear on the back, but um, the front is in good shape. I don't know if you can is see. Is the front like just different metals, or is it enamel? It's metal. It's heavy. It's metal, heavy. Yeah. And um, actually, the black looks like a like a black stone or something. I mean, it's hard to if you kind of turn it sideways, you can see where it's kind of. Oh wow! Out. I mean, and Deb then says fifty dollars. Something <laughs> fifty dollars. Deb says, "Okay, Deb, I'm with you." <laughs> Yeah, um, she's, she said art. Now, I don't know if she's thinking that's the designer of that. I asked her. Kathleen, you know what? We, you should like get a bit of a and put that in a baggie and like put $50 in there so that you'll remember like when you go to list it, mm -hmm. what everyone was saying that you should list it for. That's a good idea. I'm going to. And Rhonda said the um, black stone, maybe, maybe it's onyx. I was wondering that because it's definitely a stone. Yeah, and she says also, uh, Rhonda, tribal, tri yeah, well, tribal is a good keyword. Mm -hmm. And 50, I'm gonna write that down. I keep all my notes and I have my gold, 10 karat gold. Cross pen. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I use it all the time. And I wanted to show, I know, um, Thelma's not on, but I did want to show something for her. We had gotten a, um, there was a, she had gotten a bracelet was in Elizabeth Makeup Zombies um, Sunday Showcase. Uh -huh. And I recognized it right away as a Sergio Gutierrez. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name mm -hmm. right. I saw but, that. But he but, does liquid metal and I had bought one last year. And I wanted to show her what mine looked like because it has the big oh, stone funny. in the middle wow. of it. And it's like yeah, the, the, uh, the style is the same kind of on the band, isn't it? It's the same yeah. kind of uh, bubbly looking. Yeah. The band was just like this, but there was not a stone right. in the middle. Yeah, that was a very yeah. nice bracelet. Um, pretty what big. The, what the maker's mark looks like? Yeah. It's. SG. That's all it says is SG? Yeah. Can you see that? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Can you tell me how, how you say the name again? I Sergio? pronounce it Sergio Gutierrez, but now uh, Thelma had the, you know, she's got the correct. Uh, how do you spell the last name? Do you know? It's G U I E T E R R E Z, I believe. Sure. Uh, maybe somebody will put it in the uh, chat. You uh, guys are so awesome. Like, I learn more from the show, I feel like, than our I guests do. Um, April knew it, too, if I'm thinking right, in that same. Is it show. Gutierrez? Sergio Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Yeah. Thelma put it yeah. in. Thelma yeah. put it in. And I had, well, was Thelma's there? Oh, well, Thelma, this is for you. Because I was telling her about the one I had, but it had the big crystal in the middle. And now these are quite, this one I paid $130 for new. So the resale on them is pretty good, but I'm not, I won't give this up. This is my, What did I you love. pay for it again? 130 
Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, for the liquid. But they look like the little um, beads that go on like a fan or something, you know, on a fan pull. Hmm. But they call it liquid metal. And then this one had some parts around the crystal that came from a computer. So, oh, wow. yeah, he makes some interesting. You'll have to look him up because he makes some interesting work. Now, his uh, his hallmark is a, is a rather kind of a large S and a G. Yes. Yeah. It's really kind of hard to see it. I'm yeah, trying. You can't really it. see it, but it looks big. Yeah, yeah. And Adam just put the link, I guess, to his uh, website here in the chat. So thank you, Adam, for that. If you guys want to go check it out. Hey, I'm not good like Carol is, but. Thelma mm -hmm. says there's several listed on Posh. Yeah. And they're, and they're amazing. Hers they're mesh are, are, are amazing pieces. I think she sold hers for almost 70 and it was just this part. You know, the whole thing was just like that. The one she got on uh, the zombies. On zombie showcase, yeah. She said so. sold mine for 50 but she might be talking about something else. Maybe it was, that was 50 That was not long ago. That was only a week or so ago. Yeah, it went quick. And I thought, yeah, and I wanted to show her mine because I won't give up mine. I love it. It's, in fact, I had to put it on layaway and pay for it. So, <laughs> But you got it. Right? Yes, I got it, and I love it. Oh, let's see what else is here. I was trying to make sure I got everything. Let me just jump to the other jewelry box real quick because I know we're getting short on time here. So. <laughs> Alice says that one sold. She sold hers for fifty, but she says hers was simple, no stone. And yours has a stone, Kathleen. Yes. Oh, look and at I that box, Lady, Lady Boxton. Boxton. Yeah, I wanted to show you the box. Of course, it's just big. Cool. Very oh, nice. goodness. Yeah. Isn't that something? It's huge. Yeah, it's. I love it. <laughs> I just love it. Love it. I even like the way they smell old. Is that bad? <laughs> No, no, I love that too. Oh, no. I thought no, I was I love it too. Oh, I smell everything. <laughs> and the way I get rid of the smell is I use um, coffee beans. Oh yeah. And I will put things in with the coffee beans and let it sit overnight, oh. and it'll take the smell out. So this oh, one is. Hey, pinching pesos. Pinching pesos. I have not seen in a long time. I miss her. Well, we are going to be starting our show back up soon, you guys, the resellers, too, once our kiddos get back in school. So be looking for good. on Tuesdays at um, what time? I don't even remember anymore. 12? <laughs> on uh, Deb's I show. think it varies, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes. Reseller stew? You yeah. haven't done that for a while, have you? Well, we haven't this summer. We've all, we're all moms, so we've been busy with the kids, and it's been hard to get us all in the same, same place, you know? Oh, I totally understand that. I'm so glad mine are grown. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I didn't mean to hijack your your little. Show. Oh no, no, not at all. I I'm probably talking too much myself. I'm so excited about sharing everything no, here. I think you're gonna have to come on for a part two because <laughs> you got a lot of stuff. I really, do. this I is going so well, Kathleen, and you were so nervous. I know, I know, I was. So <laughs> now you can come on a lot of times and you, you will not be nervous, right? <laughs> I've got plenty to keep showing you because I got another two boxes and a big bag. I have tons of uh vintage beads too oh, wow that that's separated into colors and they're in in ziploc bags so i mean it's just just getting it organized is a job it is that, that is so true just to get it's, it organized it's but fun though. really pretty too i had wanted to adam oh, said you're a natural <laughs> yes she is definitely I don't know about that, but I, I'm enjoying spending time with uh, good people and good friends. This here, That's I pretty think, cool. Yeah, I, I, I have it. one something like that. I thought you had shown one like that one time. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. I would totally wear that. I love that. Yeah, I think I'll sell this one. I'm not sure how much, but you know, all the pearls are there. It's all I, I want to say they're they're kind of uh, I don't want to say common, but I think there's a good many of those types of necklaces out there. I think so? Yeah, I think. Well, yeah. I, I really like it. I've worn it a couple of times with a white 
top, and I just think it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I may just save it for myself. I'm kind of like if I'm if I can't get a whole lot of money for it, I'll just wear it myself. That's what I would do. Mm -hmm. So I have a question for you guys. Like, how do you display um, your necklaces that are yours that you're keeping? Like, so you don't forget about them, but at the same time, they don't get all tangled. You you want me to show you? Because my husband made me something. He, Ooh, he made cool. me something. Yeah, he made it. me two things actually. But I have to get up and go to another room for a second. Okay, that's okay. Get you them. guys talk. I put them. Uh, what do you call it? Those. Uh, I don't know if it's a hat rack or what, but if it's, it's like a hanger and then it's got some little hooks on it and I just kind of have them hanging up and, you know, I can fit maybe, I don't know, maybe eight necklaces on one, but you could put more than one necklace on a peg. So, well, and I have the little, the women, the little in the evening dresses that have the little prongs that come out. Uh -huh. I have several those and I hang the jewelry on them okay and this one has a this does have a mark Flor, Florenza I believe oh really how do you spell it yeah. let me look at it here and make sure that I'm speaking right let's see it's F Oh, you're saying F. F. For F L O R. Yeah. E N Z A. Florenza. Oh, yeah. I've looked it up and I have the earrings too to this necklace. Is so it I, that purple? Yes. That is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's got, and it's very nice. And see the mark the maker mark is on each one of these little bars all the way across so they were really proud of this piece. yes isn't that something i'm sorry you said no missing pieces right nope nothing on this and i've got the earring so oh I, yeah I, it's I, gorgeous I yeah. had the earrings up, and when I we found this, I took the earrings down and decided I'd put it up as the. Um, I think that's a demi Peru when you have the earrings and the mm -hmm. uh, collar. If you have if you have the earrings and the bracelet, or the necklace and the earrings, or the necklace and the bracelet. If you just have two of the set, is my understanding that that's a demi Peru. Yeah. And, and Peru is everything is a Peru necklace, bracelet, earrings. Yeah, I think it's a grand Peru if it's totally everything. And it's got the brooch is like a grand Peru. Mm -hmm. How do you spell okay. Peru? P A R U R E. Yeah, here. Oh, here's the earrings. I thought I had them together, but. Is that Florenza? Yes. Oh, wow. It's yeah, that gorgeous. is a wonderful brand. And then there's the earrings. Wonderful maker. Wow, there's earrings. Um, that big and, blue stone is awesome. As a matter of fact, <laughs> one of the stones just popped out, but thank goodness. Oh. I can, yeah, fix it. Oh, Ronnie yeah, Hart. Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> we have Ronnie Hart in the chat. That's really something. <laughs> Hey, hi, Ronnie. You gotta learn him about some jewelry. Hi, Ronnie. I'm so sorry. I'm not saying hi to all my friends in the chat. I apologize. We I'm have right. a lot of different people in the chat so today. Let's talk real quick about um, our friend April over at the Resellers Learning Curve. And that might be why Ronnie's here all excited about jewelry because she, guys, okay, she found an Omega watch. I saw that. Jewelry bag, you guys. And this thing was just beat up to like all, all heck. It was just really bad. So, um, but she ended up selling it for six hundred dollars. Oh, yeah, hundred dollars. Well, the the wow. face was like looked like gold dust or something, didn't it? The face yeah. was all gold. And that's yeah. Omega. Yeah. Omega watches. Yes. Oh, I don't think I've come across any like that. It was you very go, old, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was old. If you go to um, our Facebook, the jewelry group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, and just try type in um, April. 
um, probably her name will come up and cause she just made the post recently or, um, maybe even just type in Omega watch and it will come up. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, check it out. Or you could just go, you know what? And cause I went and looked at it too. You can go to eBay also and type in Omega watch, uh, sold completed and sort highest to lowest. Oh, okay. And it'll come up. Mm -hmm. Oh, well way to go, April. Wow. wow. I mean, oh, I no, do watches too, but I never got that kind of money for them. <laughs> <laughs> I never come across an Omega. So I, think I have either. What you got, Angie? Let's see what, what your hubby made for you. Okay, he made me this awesome, uh, like a carousel. Uh, no, not a carousel. What? It goes around, and it's yeah, got all my necklaces on it. Carousel. Oh, cool. And oh. it's just a dowel rod, right? And a round piece of wood on the bottom, and a round piece of wood on the top, and cup cup hooks. Oh, and, uh, oh I've geez. just got. Now, some of these I don't wear like a lot, but you know, I've just got a lot of my personal favorites here. Oh, wow. And they're all costume. There's my, my fancier ones are in the, uh, in my actual jewelry box, but the ones that I, you know, wear once in a while are just, just on here. So oh, that's, that's one thing cute. he made me. Very nice. And he also made me this. Now I think I saw Thelma had something like this too. Which this is a this is a wooden base with a dowel rod, and then it ha just has another skinnier dowel rod across the top, which and then it all it has to sit on something where you can have the both of the sides of the long necklaces hanging. Oh, oh cool! Yeah. Nice. So I put it on top of my tall um, jewelry box, my tall jewelry box. So. It hangs down. These this hangs down on both sides of my tall jewelry box. Is it like one of those jewelry amours? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are cool. Here's one of my favorite pieces. I love this one. It's an old lucite, lucite necklace. Ooh. Oh wow, very pretty. So cool, isn't it? So this one, I'll never sell that. I love that. It's almost modern looking with the uh, shape of the mm -hmm. circle yeah. and the square. Yeah. Ooh, the golds are really pretty color. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a long necklace, huh? I love the long yeah, necklace. Yes, long. Yep, long. Oh, I but like that's my own. On my own. There you go. Oh, I like the yeah. short one you have on too. That. Pretty. Thanks. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That's up my alley. Cool. Well, I need well, to have yeah, your, if your husband's handy or you have somebody handy that can make you one of them. They're very easy to make those oh, things. Yeah. That'd be my cool. husband likes to do that kind of stuff. So yeah, my hubby used to, too. I, I think that's very cool. You got a couple more pieces you want to show Kathleen? Yeah, well, I got more than a couple, but. <laughs> I know, we need to talk after the show about you coming on again. I don't know if you're ready to come back on. Like, we'll just, do, we could do a part two next time. That sounds um, great. You'd be interested in that? Yes, because I've got. I think so we have, <laughs> do we have somebody lined up for next time or? Oh, we like do. Gosh, what would I do without Angie? <laughs> huh? I do. Okay, I'll have to get with you. Um, It might be in September. Kathleen, I hope that's okay. Oh, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I just got back from vacation, so I'll be safe. I'm not really sure. We need to check our schedule, I think. I know, and I don't have my planner with me because I'm at the beach. <laughs> oh, poor you. <laughs> I hate when that happens, Tanya. <laughs> I, we can figure something out. I would love to show you. It's Chick Picker. It's Valerie, isn't it? Yeah, Chick Picker. Thanks, Thelma. Hi, Valerie. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Thelma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi Adam. I oh, just Dawn's here. And Dawn. Hi Dawn. Thanks for being here. Perla. This is the one that um I was going to um fix the this is the necklace. I don't know if you it's a real pretty green. Mm -hmm. it, I'm sure they're plastic. They look like it to me. That's what they call thermoset. Looks like moon glow. Yeah, I was moon glow thermoset. Like the moon stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, it has like, a real pretty um, glow to it. She's right. And it's, you know, the so many of these. I've got a ton of these. And the bracelet has was missing two stones. Oh. And it's got the yeah, that's on see. it. Yeah. However, we found the earring so I can take the stone, hopefully. Oh, that's a good idea. And we found another stone, so oh. I think that I can fix. I think with Carla, she told me the in one of her videos the stuff, the right stuff to get to glue it because I was using that um, E6000, right? Mm -hmm. But she was talking about another kind. I can't even remember. I got the tube over here, but it is better, I think, for replacing stones. You don't get that kind of thick yellowy like you do with the E6000 sometimes. Okay. Uh, oh, and I wow. think this is Coro on this green one, I want to say. Yeah. Looks like it's jewel tone kind of. Yes, it is very much so. Yeah, and this is a Coro set. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping if I can get that bracelet, you know, fixed, then I could sell that as a set too. So... My friend was, she was the one that hunted out that little bead. I couldn't believe it. So, but, but I've got tons more to show you and I know the time is up. So, <laughs> well, it's really been fun. Oh yeah. It went by super fast. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. I've just got so much still here to show you, but time doesn't allow for everything. So, well, you ought to start making videos. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I might think about it. I don't know. I'm a little yeah. nervous about that. You'd just be surprised how much fun having your own channel is and, and being able to, to make videos. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, this is fun. But I'm, I'm kind of a weenie, though. I get real sensitive, so I don't know if I can take the <laughs> criticism yeah. that you all take so artfully. I just I don't know how you do it. Wow. Everybody needs love. You just spread it all around. That's all. Right. Yes, I even the, even that. the sandpaper people, they need love too. <laughs> yes, the trolls need love too, right? That's exactly <laughs> right. Right, they're starting to come in, so I guess we've uh, chose a good time to start wrapping this up. <laughs> yeah, I see they are well, starting to come in. <laughs> all right, well, I want to thank everybody, um, as usual, for joining us in the chat. It's always great to see everybody and interact with you, and we learn so much from you guys in the chat, so thank yeah. you so much for being I've here. I've learned a ton just today. That's what I'm excited Me about. Me too. Like, I've got a whole page of notes. I've got my so notes stuff. here, and I'm ready to go research. <laughs> right. So um, I want to remind everybody to uh, please subscribe to Angie's channel. It's one of the first links down in the description box below. And um, also come and join our jewelry group on Facebook. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed our content. And if you'd like to be a guest on Jewelry Detectives, you can message uh, me or Angie, and we will get you set up for a show. So um, and I want to say a special thank you to Miss Kathleen for joining us today. And we are excited she has agreed to come back on another show. So. We'll be seeing her again very soon. So thank you to everybody. Thank you, Kathleen. Bye, everyone. Thank Thanks. You. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching.